And Ryan Stevenson doing all manner of complaining while he was on the deck. Look of a goal fest, this one, I have to say. Oh, I think two teams are defending well, um, but I think as this game wears on, Hearts will tire. Um, so I think they'll be looking to get a goal up and hang on to it. You've got to utilise the spare man, you cannot take risk in that moment now. Derek Ryan with a chance, and Rory McKenzie was very quickly out on top of him. He's tracking from Stevenson. <laughs> Stevenson encouraging uh, Jose Catongo to pass the ball in a bit more colourful language than we, <laughs> than we can say. The best part of 3,000 inside the Sprayhead Arena and uh, loving every moment of it so far. Game number three goal is six and a half minutes in. Oh, it's and that's a it's clear foul by Ian Black. On Grant Holt. Yeah. Let's hear from Andy Webster with Emma. Andy, no goals to talk about in this game, but a little bit of bad news from your own perspective. You, you can't. What about the game then itself? Um, and, and also the fact that obviously you, you've, got to, you've got to clear him down anyway. How much of a toll is that taken on the heart side? Absolutely, but the boys are doing great. It is a tough shift, but um, yeah, the boys are just going to have to see it out, unfortunately. Uh, yeah. Nearly a goal from Steve Ball there. Nearly another one for, from Steve Ball. Listen, we hope you do make a recovery in the next couple of minutes and you're able to, to play a part in, in the rest of the tournament. But thanks for now. Back to you, Rob. So, a, a few players, Mo, falling by the wayside, yourself included. Yeah, you know, you, you don't train the way you used to. Your muscles are not strong. Um, you lie on the couch a wee bit more and, you know, it takes its toll on the body, I tell you. Um, it's also years of abuse. Wear and tear. I mean, I don't know how many hamstring injuries I've had. Today's another one. And not really too easily for Hibbs, but the deadlock is broken inside 10 seconds of the second half. Two number eights clashing again. They did first half, and there might be a little bit of oh, the retribution. The carpet's up as uh, Holt tries to force his way in. The ball is in the back of the net. And that might go down as a Gary Wales' own goal in the end. Archer may be claiming they were trying to repair the carpet at the time, but uh, the ball is in the back of the net for a 2 0 advantage. Yeah, the referee's played advantage, rightly so. I mean, it's not great that the carpet's not been stuck down properly, but um, it's a valid goal for him, and I don't see Hearts coming back now. Well, who's going to get the credit for the goal? We might be able to work it out here because uh, lost his footing there, Ian Black, and. Holt managing to weave his way around Roddy McKenzie, and I think that's gone in off Gary Wills in the end, hasn't it? It is an OG. He, he tries to. So again, we'll just evaluate if they do, it, if they are patient. That's a great ball. Great pass. Great ball. Oh well. Oh, he's got to score. Should have been the equaliser for Jose Kitongo. What a pass from Ian Black, and then down at the other end, Holt misses a chance to make it three. Yeah, Holt. You can see Holt's quality. That's a great. Yeah, yeah. and at Hearts, of course. Um, great football. Legend. Yeah, he, he certainly is, and he's a, he's a great guy as well. One of the one of the good guys. Oh, oh great feet from Grant Holt. Thought he was going to finish it. Game over. But he didn't need to because Colin Nish gets the job done, and it's three 0 Hibs within three second half minutes. Grant Holt, that is just class. He's got his dad doesn't need the sambas on, but it's class. <laughs> Oh, it's class. I thought he was going to score himself here, but yeah, uh, great awareness, great skill, great awareness, and great finish by Big Nishi, by the way. And then a few who don't want to listen about that goal <laughs> later on. Yeah, and here come Hibbs again. Hearts exposed one more time, and it's the lob, and it's brilliantly done by Grant Holt. Make that 4 0. There's a bit of fatigue, there's a bit of discipline in terms of their shape. And the expansive parts and they're, they're getting picked off. That's a really and there was me talking about a goalless draw, and it's suddenly a six goal thriller. What do we know, Robbie? <laughs> it's exploded oh. into life. In <laughs> Full time in uh, match number three, and it's an Edinburgh Derby win for Hibs. Four goals to two, and there is the hero of the hour. He scored that 
last gasp equaliser against Rangers and a couple against Hibs capital rivals. I deserved a win for Hibs. I think the main difference was I thought Alan Cole was excellent and I thought um, Big Grant Holt was different class. Well played. Out for the big one. Well, a goal this first half, but uh, it all started happening within seconds of the restart. This was Dean Shields. We were barely underway when he stroked in the first goal of the game. And then it was all about the tenacity and the power of uh, Holt setting things up for a goal, which uh, surely has to go down as Gary Wales' property. He won't, he won't want it, but uh, yeah, it's he, an might, he might just have to have it. Undoubtedly, it's an own goal. Yeah. See there, Mickey's, Mickey's missed it in a 50-50 there, which is yeah. not quite like Mickey, to be honest. Mickey Cameron, that is. Those, those two goals were so good, I just think we should have another look at them, uh, which we are doing currently. <laughs> Gary, Gary Wales will be hating us for giving this another spin. 2-0 Hibs at that stage. And uh, this is this is a bit of skill. This yeah, is brilliant. That's tasty. Fantastic. And then Colin, this should be a great side footed yeah. finish. Grant Holt, I guess, is leading the way, isn't he, for uh, gold, the Golden Boot in terms of uh, goal scoring on the night. Lovely lob. And uh, well, it was 4 0 at that stage. It's a beautiful finish. Yeah. Colin right, Cameron. Let's hear from the man himself, Emma. Thank you very much, Rob. Yeah, Grant is with me. You're leading the golden boot at the moment, Grant. Uh, it looks like you've not lost any of your old touch. Does that mean I keep diving? Is that what you're trying to tell me? <laughs> uh, I can't believe it took one up, Lisa Bosley. Uh, no, it's good. I enjoy these things. Perfect for me. Stand up front and pin people. So I say, it's all right. A bit tired now, though. Two games back to back is tough. Certainly is. Are you claiming that second one then? I'll have it. You want to give it there? I don't think I'll get it, though. A couple of goals then, an assist. I'm, I'm putting it all down to these Adidas Sambas that you're wearing. Yeah, and no trainers this morning. Rocked up to Carlisle, spoke to me, father in law, he said, I, I've got the perfect thing for you in the cupboard, some nines. So I'm nine now, but they'll do. So toes a little bit tight at the minute, but they're obviously working. It was his birthday yesterday, so he's given us a present for a change. Oh, there you go, they're obviously working indeed. But that was a big result for you, wasn't it, in the context of the tournament? Just going back to back, that's the hardest thing. We knew it was going to be really, really tough. I thought we got our subs probably about right, rotating when we, we did, but. Good result for us, as I said, draw with Rangers, win there. We set us up with Celtic now. Well done, congratulations. You keep those trainers on. That's right, thanks. <laughs> uh, so there you have it, Grant Holt. What a great performance from him and a lob on the keeper, just really the icing on the cake. But, you know, you can't deny a derby win is a derby win and it is the Hibs fans here at the Brayhead Arena that have finished that game happy. 4-2 to 